Hey everybody, this is Jeff here once again bringing another update on the progress of the 1350 TOS Enterprise from Polar Lights uh, round two and what you can see here is additional work that has gone on on here. Go around real quick and talk about what we've done starting with the saucer section. Uh, I'm going to do this with the lights off actually. Well, window lights off anyway. Um, so you can see here, you can actually see these uh, panel lines going back around the circumference of the saucer. Got those back rescribed. What I wound up doing because I could still, you know, the line from the bottom of the saucer was still coming up. So I just got the hobby knife, laid it up on there, and uh, scribed upwards with that. And then I just took my fingernail and got it back the width it was needing to. Now that was a little bit of slow progress but you know what it worked it got them straight they were just a little bit all from top to you know from the top to the bottom on the saucer section uh, mainly because you know when it glued it down it didn't glue down a hundred percent straight um, it was you know maybe like a millimeter or so off but it did allow me to go through and get those corrected so now the line it follows you know straight down say I uh, follow one if I can find one on the top, there we go. Follow one straight down from the top, then go down around to the, uh, you know, along the edge, and then around to the bottom. You know, got those straight. And again, I'm so pleased to be able to be, you know, up this close to this hole with this camera, and you know, it's uh, digital, and not be able to see that panel, you know, that line up there from where the top of the saucer connected to the bottom, not being able to see that at all anywhere going around here. You know, that just, that's very, very pleasing. That was a lot of work, but got it done. It looks great. And I'm just totally happy with that work. Uh, you know, it was a lot of work, but that's what you have to do when you want to do this. So if you want it to be straight, you want it to look nice, got to put in more effort. Uh, right here, you see these landing, uh, feet down here on the bottom of the saucer painted those I thought that the um, kiss supply decals were not they weren't going to be the right color for the color scheme that I have with uh, this model so I wound up painting those it's just a combination of black chrome and uh, blue with a little bit of neutral gray in it to lighten it up just a uh, hair and you know mess those off painted those and then I gave them a white border and it's reminiscent of what is going on back here on the nacelles. We pick that up there and we've got these glued on. As you saw there in the earlier vid what I had done. Uh, those of you who didn't watch that will get a brief recap. You know, I took the kit supply part that was in here. Remember on the previous vid I said I was going to do those white. You know, and I painted them white and I had them sitting in there. But the light shining through it, you know, coming through was green. No matter how much white I put on it, it was still green because the original mold color is green. So it's still, you know, the light still has to travel through that green and it picked up the green, shined it through, didn't like it at all. So I just hogged out, you know, I hogged out the inside of that up around the lip and then, or up to the lip rather, and then I uh, got a piece of clear styrene, frosted the devil out of that and then laid them in there and it turned out really, really well. And when you have it on here and when you have it lit, It looks really, really cool. And it's a nice, you know, white glow, even white glow all the way down. And also as well, the get you know, the actual light uh coming through here that it's not that big, you know, like when you get the lighting kit and it comes with the clear part, excuse me, that you can set in there and uh, you know, light the nacelles that way. It's really big because you have the raised lip edge that's also lit and everything else it's really really big and I kind of thought that was just a little too big for as far as light coming from the nacelles because originally you know on screen anyway the nacelles were not lit you know this model the nacelles were not lit they ran out of budget they didn't have a chance to light them the way they were wanting to and so it's like okay well let's compromise let's do you know that in between and plus honestly I really just like the look of that and then of course you turn the nacelle power off and to still have that uh, white border going around the uh, clear part it really really looks cool when the lighting is off and it's important to me for a model kit to look just as well when the lighting is off as it does when the lights are on I do not want the kit to survive alone just by me running up the electric bill even though it's ever so slightly because they are LEDs now we've got the end caps and get the nacelle lighting back on as you can see there 
they are looking really really nice pull back there see both of them just lit that is really really cool subtle lighting coming out of there and of course you know they are glued down so they are complete lit they are completed and I'll just have to go back through and of course do my painting on the exterior here you know get it back to color as supposed to be and then getting the uh, balls painted back chrome I gotta make sure 100% too if I'm gonna leave those chrome too I think I will um, but you know just having slight ideas in my head so I don't think I'm gonna change that those are gonna stay chrome uh, reflect you know reflective and everything and stuff instead of the uh, pale white so I may add a little bit of white to the chrome but you know uh, that actually sounds like the idea I'm gonna do so but those are looking pretty cool you know they turned out nice even these are not mold castings these are hand made end caps minus the balls mind you that's the kit supplied ball that come with it that goes inside of the other end cap uh, standard end cap but you know all the rest of this is handmade and I added it up every you know all the different uh, styrene pieces that were cut that were you know ground down that were of course rounded for the housing and everything else and if I'm not mistaken it turns out to 26 different styrene pieces on each one of these end caps so that's what 52 in total that was that was a bit of work right there but I, I wanted something different this had to be this had to stand out and you know not only from the shuttle bay which was already letting you know it was going to stand out to the colors to you know everything else I wanted this to stand out and to me it does this feels to me it feels more uh, futuristic you know it takes what was in the 60s and brings it up to the 20 you know to the uh, to the 21st century brings it up to the year 2013 and I love that as just really really cool so you know but like I said as far as the amount of you know work that's going on here uh, hit this up real quick this little beacon light that goes back here I actually lost the kit part that was supposed to go in there it is a slightly narrower part skinnier uh, cylindrical piece that went in there that narrowed at the top you know at the tip but still stuck out you know the same as this does and you know I was taking a I had the model in the bedroom you know laying it down on the bed and I always lay it down upside down and every you know I try to leave this thing sitting up just in case because you know on this kit on this uh, kiss by place it is still a little wobbly <laughs> you know and it was even more so because I didn't have the wiring and the base going on and stuff the way it is now um, you know with the switches and everything uh, but uh, I take it in there, laid it upside down, and this part slid out because because that gap that I had back here uh, on the hole, the kit supply part was too small. So it slipped out. More than likely, it got sucked into the vacuum cleaner after moving the covers around on the bed. You know, got to sleep, and you know it's it's more than likely at the city dump right about now. So I uh, took one of these uh, little parts that I used. To correct this, which was one of those little uh, clear pieces for the original Bizarre Collectors that just stick in there to act like one of the Christmas tree light bulbs, little rounded ones, um, for the flashing green and blue on the inside. And I turned it upside down, I sanded the ball on the top of it down, because uh, I didn't want it to look just like that, you know, it wasn't going to look, I didn't want that to, you know, have the same look. That's the ball sticking out, and right here is the stem. Uh, you know, I trimmed the ball down, I shaved it down just a little bit and I uh, set it in there after I tinted it red and it fit perfectly to the hole, the size of the hole that was left after I had to correct the gap that was back here in this hole. So that's cool. Uh, the lights on the top, you know, uh, front and the back of that, they're supposed to be green. I just stuck some, uh, oh, was it fiber optic? And sit that up in there, the size of the fiber optic I have, you know, fit perfectly. So that helped me with that. I have a little bit of uh, cleanup around the putty work that I have. And then over here on this nacelle, you remember this was the one that I had to take off and, you know, break apart and fix. And it originally had the uh, connection right here just too fat for what was supposed to go on. I had to go back in and correct that. But taking a look at that, you know, I puttied up that hole that was there, uh, sanded it down real nice, smooth. Made sure also that I had the seam line coming from you know around the pylon back in there too so that it matched up with the other side Let's see if we can get that on there 
you know, so that it matched up with the other side. Made sure that I had that on there. Then got it painted up and everything, and it turns out just fine. I do have to correct my blue, uh, my bluish gray on the right here on the tip of the pylon. But other than that, that fixed nicely. You can't even tell I had the problem. So, uh, but thus far, that is about the rest of the work that we have to do on this model. You know, have a little bit of had putty work over here. This part didn't lay down quite so flush as I was wanting it to, so I gotta clean that up. Uh, this has already been sanded down and stuff back here, except for right in here. But you know, up here, I have to sand that down, then get that painted. You know, it, correct my paint colors and everything. That'd be uh, nice and easy. Maybe about I don't know hours worth of work right there because I know I'm be taking breaks you know it's just me and my two-year-old here so of course I have to tend to him at the same time as I'm working on this that's why this kit's not finished already uh, and then of course to work right around here with the control room uh, window up here um, no light leaks coming around the edge of that turned out nice uh, my what I did on that you know I didn't I was originally gonna have the light bleeding through the uh, the molded clip kit plastic but it was turning out green just like the uh, lighting was coming out of the nacelles it turned out green so I hogged that out and then in the back I put a piece of clear styrene back there frosted it and uh, you know once I put it back there I had to trim my light back uh, quite a ways because it was uh, a little too big but you know once I did that this turned out great and it's a nice you know uh, white light coming out of that instead of that greenish light that was coming through so I, I you know I really did really didn't want that the only place where that might remain is these two right here with those uh, uh, lights leading up into the shuttle bay you know direct you to make sure that you're not too far left or right you're not gonna hit the shuttle bay door but you're gonna actually go into the shuttle bay so you know that probably be the only place where I leave that and I'm still having that in the back of my mind to go in and correct that as well so um, or redo that I'm not gonna say correct um, but you know I, I doubt that I need mean, I get to where I leave well enough alone with this kit so but that's the progress on this kit you know pull back here and get this underbelly shot those of you out there building models keep building I will continue to work on this and you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week I will talk to you later and that is a lovely shot by the way <laughs>